tennis preacher, prophet, psychic, and pastor, tennis pastor, coming back at you with another video. I got one question here. Will the winner of Shanghai, no matter who that is, dog or cat, mouse or squirrel, will the winner of the Shanghai Masters Rolex that Sunday morning, will the winner of that probably win the ATP finale that's in about three weeks or so? Okay, I'm going to ask that question right there. Okay, um... This is what I believe here. Okay, I believe, let me go through the scenarios first. I believe if somebody else besides Nadal or Federal, Federal win the Shanghai, let's say, so so it's only two others. If Chilich or Del Potro win the Shanghai, I don't really believe they'll probably win the ATP finale. I think the chances of that happening is very slim, okay? So they out of the way. Okay, I believe if Nadal wins the Shanghai, I believe there is a 50% chance, 50% that Nadal uh, will win the ATP Masters finale. 50%. And because I think there's a 50% chance that Federer could still win that. Okay, so we got Nadal out of the way. Now, suppose Federer wins the Shanghai. Okay. I think there is a 75% chance that if Federer wins Shanghai, I believe he will win the end of the year. That's a 75% chance. And you say, well, why? Why do you give him more of a chance than even Nadal? It's because Federer has beaten Nadal there a couple of times, even when he was having trouble with Nadal. But even forget Nadal, it's also because... It's indoors and the courts are usually fast and that's in Federer's favor. So if Federer wins the Shanghai, like I said, there's a 75% chance, 75 that he'll win the end of the year uh, championship. So between Federer, Nadal, and then we got Chilich and Del Potro. Federer has the best chance, if he wins Shanghai, of winning an ATP Masters finale. Okay, people, y'all can comment below if y'all disagree with that. Okay, Magic Man, Tennis Preacher, Prophet, Psychic, signing off.